Hi everybody, today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of my registry that I am putting together being a second time mom. So the first question that I think second time moms ask is, should I even register? That's how I was feeling. In fact, I wasn't planning on registering until very recently. But here's why I think that it is a good idea to make a registry, even if this is your second or third child. First of all, for friends and family who ask, people want to give you a gift or they wanna gift the baby and it is easy and convenient and helpful for them, even if there's not a lot of things on there, just to give them an idea of what you're wanting or needing. Secondly, because even though this is your second baby, there are definitely things that you need to replenish. Things like diapers and wipes and pacifiers that are disposable or have been used up. And you know, that cost adds up quickly. So if somebody can gift that to you, that is such a huge help. Another reason to sign up for a registry is because it helps you kind of get your head together in one place. If you have half the pregnancy brain that I do, then you don't know up from down. So for me, this is just, if anything, a great list for me to see, okay, what are the things that I need to have to get my baby home with me? And fourth, if for no other reason, sign up for a registry to get the completion discount. A lot of stores and websites will offer a completion discount after your baby is born, and they'll give you a discount off of all the things that are left on your registry that you still need to buy. So put anything on there that you think you're gonna want for your kid, because then you can get it at a discount. Okay, so this time around, I decided to register on Amazon. One, because I feel huge, and I'm tired and I'm busy with my first kid and I don't feel like going to a store and clicking through all of the things that I want. It was fun the first time around. This time I just wanna do it from my home in my sweatpants. Another reason why I opted for Amazon is because I already know that there are unique items that I'm going to need that I don't think I would find in a typical store like Bye Bye Baby. For example, if you've been following our latest updates, you know that one of our twins is gonna be a little cleft lip cutie. And I know I'm going to need some special things to help him get fed. So one of the things that's on my registry is this pigeon nipple that one of you guys recommended to me actually for feeding him. I don't think it's something they sell at Target. And so that's something that I can register for. People will know that I need it. Another thing that's cool that I found out about Amazon is that for those big ticket items, you can set it up so that people can put money towards that item. I really liked that idea because I don't have a ton of things that I need this time around. Like I said, we do have lots of things already from our first kid, but it would be so nice to get help on those big ticket items. And this is a way that people can contribute to that. And then one other thing that I liked about Amazon is that it can be a universal registry. You know, there are some things that I see in other places that I would love to have on my registry. I love looking through Etsy. I think they have the cutest things. So now if I see something cute that I would love for my twins on Etsy, I can just add it to my Amazon list. So even though it's not coming from Amazon, people can still see it's something that I either would want or need for the babies. Okay, so here is a look into some of the things that I added onto my registry. First of all, diapers and wipes. We all know from going through the first time around that that is an expense that really adds up. If you've followed my YouTube channel or you follow us on Instagram, you know that I kind of go back and forth with cloth diapering and I intend to cloth diaper my twins as well, but not in the beginning. We're gonna have a lot on our plate. We're gonna have three kids in diapers, two newborn twins, one baby with a cleft lip and palate. So extra laundry is not something that I wanna add to my to-do list. Being stocked up on diapers and wipes will be so helpful. Some other things that aren't necessarily disposable that you might wanna freshen up on are things like pacifiers and maybe even bottles, things like that. I have some 
Nook pacifiers on my registry, as well as some more Dr. Brown bottles. I chose Dr. Brown bottles when I registered for Dylan because my sister used them with great success and I know a lot of people have success with that vent system that they have. And so we used it and I really love the bottles, but by the time Dylan was hitting one years old, he definitely didn't need that vent system in there anymore. And I started to resent having to clean all those little pieces. So so this time around, I think I'm going to register for a few of the options bottles where you can close the bottle with the vent system or without it. Okay, like I said, this might be unique to my situation, but it, you might need this for you too if you're having twins like us or you're having a different gender baby and you want to switch up colors and if your first baby is a lot older and you don't have these items anymore. But So for us, we need some big ticket items like a car seat. We decided to go with the Kiko infant car seat. We have one already that we used with Dylan and we liked it so one baby will use Dylan's old car seat and then we need to pick up another one for the other baby to use as well I'm not sure if this is something that I need immediately but one thing I decided to put on my registry just so I could even get a completion discount later or if people wanted to contribute towards it that would be helpful to us but I put on a couple of portable mini cribs I think that's the route we're gonna go with the twins just because we don't have a ton of space so I thought smaller cribs might be better so um, I put I have two of those on my registry as well as some of the bedding that needs to go along with that one of the things to think about when creating your second registry is if the second baby is a different gender than the first baby, then there might be some things that you want special for them. For example, special bedding or special clothing. So our oldest is a boy and we are bringing into the world a boy and a girl. Nana loves to buy clothes for the babies. So I wasn't too concerned about registering for girl clothes, but there are a couple of little things that I wanted to get that would be special and more girly for her. For example, bows. I cannot wait to put bows in my little girl's hair. And then a couple of other things that I thought would just be nice to have would be some girly swaddles, some girly bedding, and if I think of anything else, I'll add it to my list later. Okay, even though I am totally fine and looking forward to getting use of a lot of Dylan's things for our new babies, there are definitely some things that I want to get for them that are unique to them. I want them each to have their own baby books. Now, these baby books I got from one of you guys last time with Dylan, and I loved it. I loved the format of it so, so much. And then the other thing Thing that I got for Dylan from one of you guys that I didn't know that I needed until I got it and it's been just so helpful for me are these baby briefcases it just helps store all of their important documents in one place I love it and so it's definitely going on my list for each of the twins this time around so those are great things to think about for your second child as well there's also just special little unique things that they don't need, but I want for them, you know, I don't want everything to be a hand-me-down. And so one of the things that I love are these muslin swaddles with the scriptures on them. I saw these a lot after Dylan had been born and we had plenty of swaddles, so I didn't feel like I needed to purchase more for him. But for the new babies, I thought it would be fun to have special gifts that are just theirs. So I picked out a couple that I felt were really fitting for my twins coming into the world. So sometimes it is fun to just update a couple of their things so that they have things that are just theirs. And I think those are things that if people do want to buy from your registry, those are things that people like to buy. Something else to consider for your registry are things for your first kid so that they're not left out. Now these certainly aren't things that we need, but I thought that they were sweet and somebody might want to purchase this for your older child or I might want to purchase it for my older child. So a couple of cute things that I found were this cape for Dylan to get to wear either in the hospital or around the house to make him feel super special that he is a big brother. I also registered for a couple of books for Dylan to read so that he kind of understands what's going to be happening 
that we're gonna be bringing babies home and what it means to be a big brother. Another important person to consider when signing up for your registry is you. You know, from giving birth the first time that there's a lot of things that you are going to need that you might need to replenish on. I specifically remember coming home from the hospital with Dylan and thinking, I don't need anything else in the world except for nipple cream. <laughs> that was like the most important thing to me. So just think about what were some things that were really helpful to you the first time you gave birth and put those things on your registry if you need them again. Nipple cream, breast pads, maybe some comfortable pajamas for the hospital or for home. So for me, I'm gonna put a couple of those things on my list as well. Okay, so, so far, that's what I have on my registry. I might add a couple more things. Something that pops into my head is I want to take monthly photos of the twins, and one thing I like to put in the picture for scale is a stuffed animal, so I think I'm gonna be on the lookout for the perfect stuffed animal for my little girl and little boy to have in their pictures. But other than that, I can't think of too much more. This registry, of course, is not gonna be nearly as big as the first time around. Around, but I just wanted to give you a sneak peek for those of you who have been interested in what we're wanting and needing as well as give you ideas if you're trying to create a registry of your own. If you can think of anything else that I need or that you think would be important or something that you signed up for on your registry, leave it in the comments below. I'm always willing to get some ideas from you guys especially if you're somebody who's had a girl or if you're somebody who has had a child with a cleft lip and cleft palate because I'm still learning what are gonna be the important things that are gonna help us with him or if you're someone who's either had a second child or twins, if you can think of something that you think would make our lives easier, I am all for hearing it. So definitely leave those in the comments below. Thanks for watching and shopping along with me and I will see you guys soon, bye. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is seriously the weirdest coincidence. I filmed the registry video today. I haven't even like edited it or posted it or anything like that, but look what showed up in the mail today. One of you guys got this for us, which means you found my registry before we really ever said anything about it. And I got the pigeon nipple. That is so awesome. Jenny, thank you seriously so, so much. Now I just have to figure out how to use it. That's the next step, but it was one of you guys who told me I had to get this, so thank you, seriously, so much. That is like almost kind of trippy that we received this the same day that I made this video. It's cool, thank you so much. You're the best, seriously. That's so, so sweet of you.